Just to follow up on that, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, to reiterate, you support uh, the Medicare for All bill, I think initially co-sponsored by Senator Bernie Sanders. You're also a co-sponsor yes. on, on it. I believe it will totally eliminate private insurance. Um, so for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it? Well, listen, the idea is that everyone gets access to medical care. And you don't have to go through the process of going through an insurance company, having them give you approval, going through the paperwork, all of the delay that may require. Who of us have, has not had that situation where you've got to wait for approval and the doctor says, well, I don't know if your, your insurance company is going to cover this? Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. Wow. Hell. Let me tell you something. That was, that was good. That was good. Good answer. I like the answer. Uh, I'm sure, you know, Ty's not going to be happy with me when I say this, but I'm sure that's what she told Hillary Clinton's donors in the Hamptons last summer. You know, hey, guys, we got to just, let's get rid of it. When she met with uh, an executive from Citigroup in the Hamptons, uh, six months after she became senator, I'm sure that's what she told them. You know what, guys? I I'd love to take your money, but we got to get rid of the private health insurance industry. We just got to get rid of it. So I thought it was a great answer. Obviously, I'm being s sarcastic. So a few things. You know, this is where Ty and I tend to uh, disagree on a lot because I love Ty, and he's not here to defend himself in fairness, but uh, he tends to give people the benefit of the doubt where I, I do not. Because I look at your actions, not what you're saying now. Barack Obama ran on universal health care uh, and a public option and then gave us, he didn't really fight for a public option. He gave the Republicans whatever they wanted. I mean, Hillary Clinton uh, borrowed Mitt Romney's flip-flops. I mean, Hillary Clinton, when Bernie Sanders pushed her left, she, she flip-flopped so much, she made Mitt Romney look consistent. But I had trouble, and most progressives had trouble, uh, believing that Hillary Clinton was actually going to follow through on most of the progressive promises she made because it's not truly what she believes based on the money she took and what she has said in the past. So before I went live today, I actually did some homework. I contacted a few uh, political contacts I have in California, and I said, can you tell me if Kamala Harris, uh, when she was running for Senate uh, in 2015 and 2016, when uh, Medicare for All California the universal health care bill in California uh, was still in play. It had the chance to pass. California is, on paper, the most progressive state in the country. Uh, it passed the House. Uh, the, the governor uh, supposedly was going to sign it. And the House of Representatives, I think his name was Anthony Rendon, blocked it. So it, did she come out in favor of Medicare for All for California? Did she say anything? I mean, I can't, I looked it up on, uh, I looked it up. I couldn't find anything that she said about that. And uh, sev I contacted three people I know in California that are politically active there. And they said she, she didn't take a position. Now, in fairness, she was running for national Senate, not California. But I mean, if Medicare for all is what you believe in, if you believe in single payer, then why wouldn't you be leading the charge when you're running to become a California senator for California to lead the nation as an example? For Medicare for all. It's obviously not a question Jake Tapper was going to ask because Jake Tapper stood there like the mannequin that he is. So I, dare I say, you know, listen, I don't want to knock her for saying the right position. This gets down to psychology, right? She's saying on paper the right position, but it gets down to psychology. Do you believe her, right? So I'm not going to tell you who to believe. You can believe whoever you want. I mean, I don't know what else to say other than I don't have that much faith that Kamala Harris, if elected president, would actually fight for Medicare for all. That is my opinion because I don't see anything in her history. She, when she was elected, this is what she said. We can't afford to be purists, Harris said. You have to ask that question of yourself. Are we going to be purists to this resistance to the point that you let these guys go? These guys that she's talking about are Joe Manchin and Heidi Heitkamp.
Or can you understand that you may not agree with 50% of their policy positions, but I can guarantee you will disagree with 100% of their replacements policy positions? So that is part of the question. What do we have to do in this movement? What do we have to do in this movement to be pragmatic? So right after she was elected to the United States Senate, she was basically, that's, that's talking to you progressives. Uh, eat your broccoli and vote for Joe Manchin and Heidi Heitkamp. And, you know, I'm not an extremist. When Beto O'Rourke was facing Ted Cruz in, uh, in Texas, listen, I, I'm not from Texas, but I said, listen, if I lived in Texas, I would vote for Beto O'Rourke. I mean, I, I would vote for a human snail over Ted Cruz, okay? Uh, I feel differently about national elections. You know, if it was Kamala Harris versus Ted Cruz, I'd vote for Kamala Harris, okay? That's me. Doesn't need to be you, but that's me. But, you know, when you're, when you're saying Medicare for all, well, you're coming to it after Bernie Sanders led that charge. You're coming to it when Bernie Sanders, he was out on the cliff for many, many years when he was called a, basically a communist for advocating for this. And you're coming to it as the political winds change, as it's 70% popular. So I have a problem with that, not because she's a woman, not because she's an exper- uh, uh, not because she doesn't have a lot of experience, she's only been in office two years, but because I have a problem with these Johnny-come-lately progressives. And I worry... Am I going to get obama again? Meaning, am I going to... I mean, I loved Obama in 2008. I, I don't, I'm not embarrassed to say it. A lot of people did. Uh, and I thought he was going to heal the world. But I was, I was very, very disappointed uh, in, in totality. He did some things well, but most of it... I mean, he let bankers off scot-free. We got a Republican health care plan. Uh, we're still in Afghanistan. I mean, I could go through the list. So you have to look at the overall context. And I have a hard time believing that Kamala Harris, while she was running for Senate, did not say, a, say anything about the fight for universal health care in California. So you tell me. You tell me. By the way, Kamala Harris, you know, when you're talking about uh, Medicare for all, well, and, and ending the private health insurance industry, that doesn't exactly square away with you currently. If you read news reports uh, the uh, about two weeks ago, there were news reports, Kamala Harris, Kirsten Gillibrand, Cory Booker were all dialing Wall Street executives over the last few months, seeing if they could get support. Well, sorry to tell that doesn't exactly square away with ending the private health care industry. Let me tell you something. You know, another industry that big banks are invested heavily in other than pipelines and fracked natural gas? Pharmaceuticals. So you're never going to hear this context on CNN. Frankly, you're probably not going to hear it on some other outlets. But this is the context. She could say whatever the hell she wants at a CNN pep rally because that's what it was. It was a pep rally for her. So in theory, great answer. Do I believe it's going to happen? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. Now, you could, you could say, all right, Jordan, but let's say if, if she got elected, maybe she's not, maybe she's faking it, but she wouldn't go for Medicare for all, but she would fight for a public option, so that's better. Well, let me see what my options are then. But right now, no, I'm not for that. I'm not for that. We need Medicare for all, universal health care, not just a public option. Don't you find it interesting that when Bernie Sanders or Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez uh, talks about Medicare for all, you know, Jake Tapper, well, how are you going to pay for that, sir? But I find it interesting, the double standard, because Jake Tapper, when he interviews Bernie Sanders, when he interviews uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, well, how are you going to pay for this thing that helps the, the proletariat? But when he interviews Kamala Harris, I didn't hear that question. Did I miss did I miss something? Did I miss Jake Tapper asking how are you gonna pay for it? Maybe he knows it's not something she truly believes in. Just saying.